open the front porch. Welcome to my arrival bell helmet. <clears throat> so how I hooked up the uh, camera. Initially I just put the little star mount velcro thing and I just placed it on this earpiece which does come off. I figured if it proved a problem or something that wouldn't damage the finish in any way because I could replace that. I also was a little concerned that maybe it would break that off, the weight on it, which is important to keeping that on there, but it doesn't seem to have any problems with that. It's actually more secure than some people seem to think. I've heard about people breaking them, but I think it's because they didn't put the lens in right or the shield in right. But I've also got an older eye profile, same model, where it's a different color, but I have those, so if I totally damaged one of those, I wouldn't be hosed. Um, so, at any rate, there's the little clamp which you can adjust, but you can't actually adjust its position that way or that way. For that, you have to be aware how far you're putting it front to back on that. Maybe if you look at it from the top, I'm assuming this is working okay see that if you put it further back, it would be, of course, pointing and you blah, blah, blah. Ah, you get the picture. I hope so. If not, you probably shouldn't be trying this. Um, this is my sort of second setup. It's not brilliant. It doesn't do everything perfectly. It's just sort of what I've done. Uh, initially, I just tucked the wire up under here looped it up front and uh, zip tied it kind of keep it close brought the wire back up under here there's a lot of room and then just left the wire dangle hooked it to the recording unit which looks like this and put that in my shirt pocket put my coat on over that and uh, that worked fine so this is my second attempt I got some of these little rubberized doohickeys which don't stick on well at all uh, there's a different Velcro because, well, the Velcro that came with it, one of the people at the factory even said the, this is from their mount kit, and one of the people from the factory or whatever, from the company even said that Velcro is kind of poor in there. And these look messed up because of other things I attempted, but that's all right. <coughs> they, uh, they're just rubberized and they clamp on, and they actually hold it pretty good. I think if you hold on it and come out of there without a problem, which I can like. If there were any reason to kind of yank on it, the whole thing would come off. I don't think it would be too much of a problem. So what I did this time, is I came around, I cut through those louvered vents there, cut that inside material, which is surprisingly tough. And then uh, I did that initially and just worked everything through that. And then I said, okay, well, I'm not too worried about it. It looks good. So I cut a slightly bigger hole. <clears throat> so the wire comes in here, runs, it's just tucked up under there. Can I see it down there, maybe? <clears throat> comes up, and these things, you know how these little guys come out. If you've got an Arrive Profile or Moisturize, then you know how that little tab fits into the cheek protector or, yeah, cheek piece. I did take that out, pass the wires underneath it, and then put it in. You can see here there's the wires coming out on the back side of it. <clears throat> so I didn't take the cheap pad out, just that little thing. It wasn't too bad. This time I don't have, I'm not sure how well that's coming through. A little closer. So this time I don't have a zip tie or anything on it, but I've added a little piece of Velcro. Get it off here. Again, this is not their Velcro, it's my Velcro. I just put it around the back side and hook it on there. This whole furry is just an attempt to make some sort of noise canceling something or other. Uh, so the whole thing will just come back out and the only thing damage it'll leave is that little bit there. Which comes through. Oh well. Get some light on it. There you go. That little bit there. But the 
wire then goes comes out to this mic and then it goes back comes out there and I looped it up there just to get some strain off of it so it's got a bit of strain relief but that means this thing is that long and uh, this is get a hook to it well unless I tie it to my shoulder it's not going to work too well and I wouldn't be able to turn my head so I know a lot of people are using these cameras if I just put the velcro back put my mouth key back in there and I haven't tried this setup, and I don't suspect my little wind cover thing is going to be all that good. But it's a start, and since I'm unfamiliar with this stuff, um, you know, it's a start. I'll test. I'll probably have to change. Whatever. Um, at any rate, a lot of people have done these different, but I intend on using that microphone. I know a lot of people have gone under here. You can open this thing up, and uh, if you can get it out, it does sink in there pretty good. Plugged into the mic, but that leaves all this exposed. It's no longer really moisture retardant. I think its waterproof rating is a uh, something a seven. Uh, so I think that I think you better check with them. A immersion for like a meter for 30 minutes or something. Um, so, I also don't have a pocket, like a Napoleon pocket in my jacket, so I ordered a new jacket, which might have one, which I think it does have one. So, I also was intending to use it for other things, so I got this little doohickey, and this little doohickey fits in this little doohickey, um, and I got a lot of these from my like B&H. And so I kind of got a deal. Plus I had some credit there, so uh, that's B and H photo. Not that they're perfect or anything, but they got good prices. Mm -hmm. So here's the idea: that thing fits in there. Yada, yada. So this is one piece. This little harness thing is just an over-the-shoulder harness thing that snaps around your waist and kind of holds it. Well, you can adjust it around to where that hole on your belly or or up by your left shoulder or wherever you want it. Um, and this, and I'll try to be careful, they always say be careful with connectors, a little extension cable. So, I should be able to hook this one up, this one goes in there, and then this one, if I just bring up through my neck opening and hook up, I'm not sure what they think on these connectors, whether or not they're waterproof, but most of their products, I'm sure, probably six IP67, so that's like all the dust plus full splashing and stuff like that. But when it seats in there, it is a good connection. If you're worried about it, you could wrap electrical tape around it. Um, be real careful when you're putting them together. They have the little keyways very, very tiny in there. And I just suspect that that's an expensive connector to have fixed. And I think on one of their early versions of cameras, this whole cable was removable, but I don't think on the last couple it's been removable. So if you mess up this connector, you probably have to send the whole thing back for repairs. That's kind of annoying. So that's really it. <coughs> that's all I've done. This helmet's a little more silver. So I did have the other helmet, so I kind of tore through there and I was a little aggressive with it because it doesn't matter if I trash it, I wrecked in it, and it's ruined, you can't, I can't use it again. So I kind of know how it works. It's still very, very, very close. One of the reasons why I ride it around this side is I'm thinking about getting like a, an intercom thing, and so that's almost assuredly going to be on the left side and coming up on this side, but I'm running out of space in there. My nose touches that when I'm wearing this helmet, so I mean there's just very, very little space. Um, so I'm not sure if that fuzz is going to work and all that, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I think also some people that do this have a separate um, a separate uh, audio recording system entirely, and somehow when they make their videos, they sync up the audio in the video. But I won't go through that effort. I'm just not that high end of production, or at least I don't think so. Uh, but it is fun camera so far. 
proved entertaining. And the first time out, I dropped the bike. So there you go. Um, so part of getting this, by the way, this is one of those. It's just straps that pass through. Well, so I can mount it on clay. Uh, a dog. So dog cam. Anyway, there you go. That's what I did. Enjoy yours, however you want to hook it up. Um, but it's real simple to put on if you just, the first time, like I said, I just pushed that on there and routed it around, and that was it. And that will peel off um, and not leave any residue, because I had some of their Velcro on the back and peeled it off, and it left absolutely no residue, didn't have a problem. Uh, the little remote thing comes with this Velcro, you pass through it like a watch band kind of thing. I just put this around uh, the microphone. Er, the microphone. Wow, I'm brilliant. I was just thinking that it's kind of like a old watch band. If I had an adjustable watch band, it might be easier. Uh, put it around the handlebars on the left hand side. Just push the buttons. Uh, play with it ahead of time before you go out riding with it because as soon as you go out riding with it, you'll get the modes wrong or when to push it wrong or whatever. Um, so just make sure you know kind of how it's working, otherwise it'll really piss you off when you're sitting there talking to yourself for a while, or something really cool happens and you ain't got it, or some jerk cuts you off and you ain't got it. So, anyway, <coughs> battery's about dead on my little camera here, so I'm assuming this camera, that camera, worked as good as that camera, and that this is something I can put on for you to see. Um...